In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 facts about Stowaway 2021. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. Stowaway, directed by Brazilian musician filmmaker Joe Pena with great style and a keen sense of pace, skips every earthbound prologue and jumps right into a two year, round trip expedition to Mars with a three person crew Anna Kendrick's Zoe, a medical doctor. Daniel Day Kim's David, a biologist and Tony Collette's Marina, the team's captain. The camera tracks them as they explore the space station's labyrinthine and narrow halls, settle in, and try out the mandatory meals in a bag. Here's a list of the top 10 facts about Stowaway 2021. Let's start. Number 10. What happened in Anna Kendrick and Daniel Day Kim's space thrill? Netflix's newest original is a suspenseful space thriller about a tiny group of three astronauts who are sent to Mars and face an unthinkable moral dilemma. The cast of Stowaway is tiny but extremely talented, with Anna Kendrick as a medical researcher, Zoe, Daniel Day Kim as a scientist, David, and Tony Collette as a ship captain, Marina. With their limited resources, what happens when the skeleton team is burdened with one more crew member, Shamir Anderson's Michael? Let's get started on the stowaway conclusion. Joe Pena, a Brazilian director who previously directed Arctic with Mads Mikkelsen in 2018, co-wrote and directed the film, which debuted on Netflix alongside a slew of other exciting April releases. Before we begin, be aware that this article contains big spoilers for the Netflix film Stowaway. Number 9. Stowaway in Netflix Space Thriller After The Cloverfield Paradox, Away, and The Midnight Sky, Netflix continues its exploration of space with the forthcoming thriller, Stowaway, starring Anna Kendrick, Tony Collette, Daniel Day Kim, and Shamir Anderson. The film is written and directed by Joe Pena, who established his thriller credentials with the Mads Mikkelsen starring wilderness film, Arctic. The four-person ensemble stars as astronauts on a spacecraft bound for Mars in, Stowaway. The only issue is that the ship only has enough oxygen for three people. The official synopsis for Netflix's Stowaway is as follows. On a trip to Mars, an unexpected stowaway causes serious damage to the spaceship's life support systems. The crew is forced to make an unlikely decision due to diminishing resources and a potentially fatal outcome. Number 8. What happened at the end of Stowaway? Stowaway ends on a somber note, with the crew attempting to save themselves after Michael inadvertently boarded their starship. When Michael is discovered as a stowaway on their voyage to Mars, the three-person crew learns that merely existing on the craft with them would sabotage the mission, leaving none of them alive. Zoe agrees to go out during a deadly solar storm to collect the oxygen required for at least three of them to survive after exhausting a variety of choices, which we'll get to in a minute. Stowaway is a tale about making sacrifices for the common good, and Anna Kendrick's character suffers as a result. Zoe remembers joining the program as a joke to watch herself get rejected at the start of the film. As the film nears its conclusion, she recognizes that it has helped her to truly offer life meaning in ways she could never have imagined. Although sci-fi fans may have expected the film to devolve into a bloodbath between astronauts battling for their own right to live, Stowaway's conclusion is focused on the best interests of the entire crew. Number 7. How did the Stowaway get aboard the Kingfisher? Let's take a step back now. How did the film's stowaway dilemma come about? Basically, the crew discovered Michael in a compartment not long after launch. He'd been trapped there by accident since before the launch, and no one had noticed. Tony Collette's marina manages to break his fall after his fall from the compartment, but it damages the ship's life support systems in a way that cannot be fixed. Michael is a launch support engineer, marina discovers. Michael's presence on board is a big oversight that occurred before takeoff, prompting the crew to wonder if he was a deliberate stowaway. As the film progresses, we discover that Michael's presence on the ship is unintentional. He claims he sustained a concussion and was knocked unconscious on the ship as it launched while arming the second stage firing pins. Number 6. Stowaway survives on suspense built by crew of actors. Stowaway, a new Netflix film, has plenty of that kind of drama, if not total believability. As the film opens, three astronauts Marina Barnett, Tony Collette, Zoe Levinson, Anna Kendrick, and David Kim, Daniel Day Kim, are about to embark on a two-year trip to Mars. All seems to be going swimmingly before Marina finds Michael Adams, Shamir Anderson, 
an engineer who accidentally became a stowaway after being trapped in a panel aboard the starship. His involvement raises some immediate questions, such as who will look after his sister back on Earth and how far a food supply intended for three people can be stretched. But all of that is put on hold when the crew discovers Michael has inadvertently destroyed the ship's air system, jeopardizing not only the voyage but also their lives. Number 5. Stowaway 2020 Trailer Netflix is known for its dystopian science fiction and post-apocalyptic dramas. Maybe it's because their small casts make them simpler and less expensive to make, or maybe it's because their algorithm tells them that their subscribers can watch practically everything in this genre, but they seem to make more grim sci-fi films than anything else. And now for something completely different, Joe Penna's Stowaway. On their way to Mars, a group of astronauts, played by Anna Kendrick, Daniel Day Kim, and Tony Collette, come across an unintentional stowaway, played by Shamir Anderson. They discover they only have enough air for three people, not four, after their life support system is destroyed. What are they going to do? Number 4. Stowaway, release date. Filming in Cologne and Munich began on June 11, 2019 and ended 30 days later. Scott Manley, a YouTuber and science communicator, served as a consultant for this film. On Tuesday, June 11, 2019, Anna Kendrick shared a photo of herself, Daniel Day Kim, Shamir Anderson, and Tony Collette on Instagram with the caption, Captain's Log, Day 1, implying the first day of shooting. Rise Visual Effects Studios will do the complex VFX jobs. The film und Medienstiftung NRW, the FFF Bayern, and the DFFF have all contributed to the project. Netflix purchased the film's distribution rights in December 2020. Netflix will release the recently completed film, Stowaway, in the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, India, Latin America, Africa, and a number of other major Asian and European markets. Number 3. Anna Kendrick and Tony Collette in a catchy outer space morality play. Stowaway is only his second film, and it follows in the footsteps of his first, Arctic 2018, which starred Mads Mikkelsen as an adventurer trapped in the frozen wilderness. This is an outer space adventure, which makes you think it'll be a spectacle film these days. Penna, on the other hand, takes a mission to Mars and unfolds it on a clear and personal emotional basis. We still have the impression that the characters might be us. It's as though they're strapped into a massive milkshake mixer, and you can feel the ship tearing apart until it escapes the hold of Earth's atmosphere. There are only three crew members, Zoe, Anna Kendrick, a physician who is new to space, looking out the window, she grins at Earth like a happy child. Number 2. Why did Anna Kendrick's Zoe make that choice? Marina has a broken arm from Michael's fall, so she stays out. Zoe and David suit up and head out to space to grab the oxygen tank together. When the crew members arrive at the oxygen tank, they discover that it contains more than 500 liters of liquid, which will solve their dilemma and keep all four of them alive. However, they are forced to hurry the tank onto the ship due to the solar storm. Zoe loses hold of the tank as she tries to return it to the ship, and the canister floats out into space. Who will go out into the solar storm to save the remaining three crew members is the final decision. Marina has been injured once again and is unable to complete the mission. Michael offers his services, but he lacks the necessary expertise to complete the task. Number 1. What options did the crew have? Marina then discovers that the ship's life support systems have been damaged, and the four of them will not be able to complete the task. Furthermore, they do not have enough fuel to make a U-turn. According to Wired, NASA fact-checked stowaway during production, and they discovered that a stowaway could absolutely happen on a mission like this. Joe Penna, the film's producer, elaborated on the crew's predicament. Daniel Day will tell you what happens next. Kim and Appos. S. David attempts to use his biology knowledge to help algae clean the ship's carbon dioxide to provide more oxygen. Marina comes to the conclusion that the crew would asphyxiate on carbon dioxide just weeks before hitting Mars because half of his batch fails. As a result, David essentially asks Michael if he'll kill himself for the mission sake. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.